Hello, welcome to Monic Pages. In today's page, solve square root of 2 minus square root of 3. So, 2 minus square root of 3, the whole square root is equal to, I take it as x. Now, I am squaring on both sides. Okay, if I square on both sides, this becomes square and the whole square. So, square root and square will get cancelled. That means, 2 minus square root of 3 is equal to x square. So again I am squaring on both sides. Now before that I take, uh, I change the x square and the square root of 3. So 2 minus x square is equal to square root of 3. I just uh, exchange the values. Now I square on both sides. So the right hand side the square root and square will get cancelled. So this gives you 2 minus x square, the whole square is equal to 3. So now it is of the form a square minus a minus b the whole square. So we know a minus b the whole square formula is a square plus b square minus 2ab. Here a is equal to 2 and b is equal to x square. So just substitute the formula here. So that gives you 4 plus x square the whole square minus 2 into 2 into x square which is equal to 3. So 4 plus x power 4 minus 4 x square which is equal to 3. Right. So now so x power 4 minus 4 x square plus 1 is equal to 0. Now we have the equation. So now this one we can write like 4 we can write like 4 x. So this 4 minus 4 x square we can write like minus 2 x square minus 2 x square. Alright. So we can split and we can write it. So when I split this, it's coming like x power 4, I'm writing like x square the whole square minus 2x square minus 2x square plus 1 is equal to 0. Why I'm writing like this? Because I want to simplify this. So when you see this, this one I'm rewriting like x square the whole square minus 2x square. This plus 1 I'm writing like 1 square minus 2x square is equal to 0. Just I um, write in the order. So this is nothing but it is of the form a square minus 2ab plus b square. So it is nothing but a minus b the whole square. So this one I am writing like x square minus 1 the whole square minus 2x square is equal to 0. Again this 2x square we can write like square root of 2 into x the whole square. So I am writing this one like x square minus 1 the whole square minus square root of 2 into x the whole square which is equal to 0. So this is of the form a square minus b square where a plus b into a minus b. So what is a here? a is x square minus 1 and b is square root of 2 into x. So now we can expand this. So like x square minus 1 plus square root of 2 into x. This is one thing. The other thing is x square minus 1 minus square root of 2 into x which is equal to 0. a minus b into a plus b. So now we can take two equations x square minus 1 plus square root of 2 into x is equal to 0. Other one is x square 
minus 1 minus square root of 2 into s is equal to 0. So now we solve both. So here a is equal to 1, b is equal to square root of 2, c is equal to minus 1. So here a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus square root of 2, c is equal to minus 1. Now we can apply the formula. So x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. So minus square root of 2 plus or minus square root of 2 the whole square minus 4 into 1 into minus 1 by 2 into 1 which is equal to minus 2 minus square root of 2 plus or minus this is 2 minus into minus is 4 square root of whole divided by 2 so now this is equal to minus 2 square root of minus 2 plus or minus square root of 6 by 2 so I can say x1 is equal to okay, x1 is equal to minus square root of 2 minus square root of 6 by 2 x2 is equal to x2 is equal to minus square root of 2 plus square root of 6 by 2 so we got two equations but if you see x1 it is negative minus square root of 2 minus square root of 6 by 2 so this is negative which is not possible so definitely this is will not come so this will come x2 now we have one more equation okay we need to solve that also x square minus 1 uh, minus square root of 2 into x is equal to 0 so when we substitute here x is equal to minus of minus square root of 2 plus or minus minus square root of 2 the whole square minus 4 into a is 1 b is c is minus 1 by 2 x3 and 2 so which is equal to square root of 2 plus or minus square root of 6 by 2 so we can say so already we have x1 and x2 x3 is nothing but square root of 2 plus or minus plus square root of 6 by 2 and x4 is nothing but square root of 2 minus square root of 6 by 2 so if you see here x4 again this is negative so this is negative so this will not come because the question is square root of 2 this question is square root of 2 minus square root of 3 is equal to how much definitely this value must be greater than 0 ok so by this we can conclude that x4 will not come x2 will come and x3 will come ok but now we will check ok we will check first I substitute this one ok so square root of 6 minus square root of 2 by 2 I take square on both sides so that goes to x square so it is of the form a minus b the, the whole square so square root of 6 the whole square plus square root of 2 the whole square minus 2 into square root of 6 into square root of 2 all divided by 2 square is 4 which is equal to x square so this becomes 6 plus 2 minus 2 root 2 by 4 which is equal to x square so 8 minus 2 root 12 by 4 is equal to x square so if I take uh, this I can write like 
टू इंटू फोर इंटू थ्री स्क्वे रूट ऑफ बै फोर इज ईक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वे सो ए मैनस टू इंटू फोर मीन सेकेंड टू विल कम स्क्वे रूट ऑफ थ्री बै फोर विच इज ईक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वे सो फोर इज काम इफ ऐ टेक् फोर काम सैड टू मैनस स्क्वे रूट ऑफ थ्री बै फोर इज ईक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वे सो फोर अंड फोर गेट कैंसल सो टू मैनस स्क्वे रूट ऑफ थ्री इज ईक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वे विच इज द गुमन इक्वेशन सो दिस सैटिस्फाइज सो वाट ई अस्यूम दिस इज करेक्ट मैनस टू प्लस आर मैनस स्क्वे रूट ऑफ सिक्स बै टू इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन सो द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज स्क्वे रूट ऑफ सिक्स मैनस स्क्वे रूट ऑफ टू इज ईक्वल टू If you like this video please subscribe my channel and please support my channel by watching my videos thank you